My name is Colby Decker and I'm here to show you how to make a customized fabric chandelier. Have you ever gone out and not been able to find just the right chandelier? Well today we're going to take all of that and put those fears to rest. So we're going to start off by making the arm plates and an arm plate is a fancy word for the piece that holds your light fixture to the chandelier. To do this we have two pieces of fabric. We're going to put right sides together now don't worry about the exact measurements, you can find all of them online. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to pin along each four inch side and I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and do a quarter inch seam allowance on both sides. Now remember you're only going to do two sides, the long sides, the four inch sides. We're going to leave the other two open. So let's take it over to the sewing machine. I am going to back stitch, it's not simply basting, so I'm going to go ahead, stitch a couple back stitch. All right, here we go. Lift my needle up. I've got lots of extra thread. Okay, now we'll do the second side. Same thing. We're going to back stitch a little bit at the beginning and the end. Make sure it's nice and secure. All right. Now each chandelier that you do is going to have two of these. You don't even have to worry about pressing the seams open, but you're going to flip it right side out. Okay. And now I have a piece of heavy duty stabilizer. This is double sided stabilizer, so it's got glue on both sides. Now I'm going to fit it into my pocket, slip it in here. Now you're going to notice that the stabilizer is smaller than the fabric. So you don't want to press it until you know that you can feel with your fingers that the stabilizer is centered. So this is where you'd hit it with the iron and a little bit of steam to make sure that the stabilizer keeps it in place. By having this stabilizer, it strengthens it to be able to, to be able to be strong enough to hold the fixture, the chandelier to the light kit. Once you do, once you have the adhesive in there, you're going to want to go ahead and add the curtain grommet. A curtain grommet just happens to be the right size for this light kit. So they usually come with a template, you mark it off, and then you're going to cut out that center and pop in the two pieces of your curtain grommet. So this is how you're going to do the two arm plates. Now we're going to move on to the actual chandelier. So here I have a piece of fabric that's nine inches deep by 40 and a half inches wide. And I want to show you the back side because I went ahead and put a, me a medium weight or a mid weight uh, stabilizer on it. And this is another iron on product. So the other thing is go ahead and pick a really nice piece of fabric. You don't need a lot. So it's nice to have something really beautiful. So, so what I want to do is I want to make a couple markings the entire distance on both the top and the bottom. So my first mark is going to be a half inch mark. I'm going to line up my ruler. And to do this, I'm going to use a Hera marker. And a Hera marker is a fancy word for a boning tool for fabric. You apply a little bit of pressure and you go the entire distance and it creates this little indentation or line. It's going to make it when we fold it, it's going to be super crisp, but it's also going to know so you, so you know where to fold it. And then you also do a one inch mark. So, and again, you do this on the top and the bottom the entire distance. And so what you do, it just makes a really crisp edge for folding. And I have one over here that's already been done and it's already been pressed. And see how nice and crisp this is? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our markers for where our arm plates are going to be attached. I know that we're going to have a quarter inch seam allowance, so I went ahead and put a mark there and one on the opposite side to compensate for that. The next thing we're going to measure from that same point, six and two thirds inches. Now you do this the entire length of your chandelier and you should get back to exactly that quarter inch mark. Now we're going to start shaping the chandelier. We're going to put right sides together and match up those ends. We're going to take it over to the sewing machine and do a quarter inch seam allowance. Again, I'm going to do a back stitch at the beginning and at the end. And then we're going to just go the entire seam.
Now when you do this, when you're all done, you're going to want to go ahead and press the seam open. When you're working with a light fixture, especially a chandelier, you don't want one side to be heavier than the other. Now this isn't a huge deal, but if you start doing that too much, it could make the chandelier lopsided, and that's the last thing we want. Okay. So this would be the point where I would press this seam open. And I have one here that's already been done. So right here, it's already been pressed open. And the next step would be to do a simple edge stitch along the bottom. I actually didn't do an edge stitch, but I did a 3 8 inch seam allowance along the bottom, just all the way. And now to finish off the top, you can see I've unfolded it and you can see my marks where those arm plates are gonna go. And I've done the exact same thing with the arm plates. I found the center and just mark them. And I'm going to slip it in here, match those marks up, and then fold it over. Now there's no need to, to do, um, there's no need to pin the entire length, but simply I'm going to put two pins in each arm plate so they don't shift. And when you do this, you only want to do half of the arm plates at a time because if you would do both sides it wouldn't fit underneath your sewing machine correctly. So I found if I just do one half of the one half of the chandelier at a time I'll, I'll have a better end product. It's a little bit more work to stop and start but in the end it really isn't any more work. It's actually faster doing it correctly not having to take it out with the seam ripper. So two pins. Okay. I'm going to take it over to the machine and do the same seam allowance as the bottom, the 3 8 inch seam allowance. Now, on the sewing machine, you're going to see there's this spring action button here. And because of, because of the having the um, arm plate in there, that's going to be, you're going to have extra bulk and that spring action form is going to help us get across there. So when I get to when I get to the arm plate, I'm going to push that button in. Okay, so along. I'm going to back this just once because I don't want to have a bunch of back stitching on this beautiful chandelier. Okay. So now I'm going along and I'm getting close to where that arm plate is. And I push that button in and it's, it's going to automatically pop out. I'm going to lift up the presser foot and stop and then pop it in. And as soon as I got there, it popped back out and it took care of itself. Now I'm going to stop again because I'm getting to the end and there's another lip coming. So I want it to automatically compensate and not give me a wobbly seam line. Oh, there we go. Okay. And you do the same thing. You just shift your fabric around. And I'm going to... Now I'm getting close to that same, the next arm plate, so I'm going to pop that in again and take my pin out. Oh. Now when I come to the end of the arm plate, I'm going to go ahead and pop it in again, push it in again. Okay. And now I'm at the end. So now that I have both of the arm plates in, I just backstitch slowly again, put my needle up, and you're going to go to the table and repin the other half of it and do the exact same thing. Now I have one that's been completed and you can see that both of the arm plates are in there. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure before you start the project to check the size of your light kit because light kits are, they vary just like anything else. But I know that this light kit and a curtain grommet, they just slide right in there and I screw the cap on and then I can insert my light bulb. Now that you know how to customize your light, now, you're, now that you know how to make a fabric light fixture, you can customize it in a couple different ways. For this one, I went ahead and added eyelets, which create a starry effect when it's all lit up. On this one right here, I added a ball fringe. And on this light fixture, I added a custom ruffle and then covered up the basting line with a one inch piece of ribbon that was edge stitched on both ways.